The magic wand tool can be one of your quickest and most powerful ways to isolate an object for selection. In this case, I want to isolate the Golden Gate Bridge, and we have a nice large target of the blue sky, with the bridge having a lot of complex different colors and tones the sky would be a much easier area to go for. So underneath the Quick Selection tool in your toolbar is the Magic Wand tool. You can also right-click to choose the Magic Wand tool. The initial setting for the Magic Wand tool is a tolerance of 32 color levels. And color levels are all the shades or colors in an image, and they go from zero, being none, to 255 being all colors. So you can imagine where 32 falls. You can imagine it better if you click once in the upper right corner. And this grabbed 32 colors that were close to the blue I clicked in in the upper right corner. If I were to choose Select, Deselect, and set the tolerance to 100, and click roughly on the same spot, I get much more of the blue sky. However, it's digging a little too far where the red meets the blue. So I'm going to choose Select, Deselect, and I'll try 50. I'll click once on the blue, and I got a large portion. And there are modes for the Magic Wand tool. The default setting is always start a new selection when I click. So when I click here, it turns the previous selection off. When I click here, it turned the top selection off. But there was color levels that were overlapping because my tolerance is pretty high at 50. I can choose Add to Selection to keep adding blue sky or this light, almost white, where blue meets. And I have most of the top of the sky. Now I want to get all the blues in between the bridge, and that would be very difficult to click every single spot in between. So that's when there's a handy feature called Select Similar. Select Similar grabs non-touching areas and grew quite a bit into all the areas here, maybe a little too much there. So I'm going to choose Edit Undo and I can lower the tolerance to something like 20. These numbers are just numbers you should experiment with on your own, because tolerance is tied directly to Select Similar. And it grabbed more detailed areas, but not a large amount. If I choose Select Similar again, it grabs 20 more color levels of the Select Similar. And if I want to keep it in the same range, Select Grow will grab only touching areas. So it wouldn't go into these because I hadn't gotten those in the beginning. I'll grab a little bit of the underneath just by clicking, and I'll try Select Similar one last time. Now I've got most of the sky, and what I want to do is select the inverse or the opposite to narrow it to just the bridge and the mountains. And here's a very cool handy little trick. In my Layers panel, I have a hidden layer underneath called Hawaii. It's not really hidden, it's showing, but the Golden Gate Bridge is covering it up right now. So although this won't be perfect, it's just an illustration of what you can do with selections, specifically the magic wand. So I'm going to click once on the icon at the bottom of the Layers panel that says Add Layer Mask, and it hid all the blue sky and put the Golden Gate Bridge right on top of this waterfall in Hawaii. And to make the blending look a little bit better so I don't see halos here, I could try a blending mode like Multiply, which burns the colors in and picked up some of the shading of the grass so it just makes it look surreal, which is what I'm going for, not completely realistic. So I hope you've seen how the magic wand 
tool works, and I hope you experiment with tolerance. To review, select similar grabs non-touching colors within the same tolerance range, and select grow grabs touching colors within the same tolerance range.